Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you a very quick way to analyze bivariate data. So what is bivariate data? Well, da da bivariate data is two variables measured on each observation or object uh, in your sample. So if you're taking a statistics class, every member of your sample, not only do you measure uh, one variable on that observation or member, but you also ask a follow-up question or make a follow-up measurement. Okay, so in this case, these were cars. Our, our uh, observations were of cars. And so here we, you see we have about 50 observations where we measured the speed in miles per hour and the distance in feet that it took for the vehicle to stop from a speed of four miles an hour. Okay, so here we have 50 observations and the way I can quickly tell that is to highlight the number of variables and down here in the corner I get these summary statistics here. So you see we have a count of 50. Okay, so let's first make a scatter plot of speed versus distance. Let's see if distance, uh, speed, sorry, is a good predictor of distance. So in terms of x's and y's, speed would be our x and distance would be our y. And that's because speed is our independent variable okay and that makes y our dependent variable and these go by other names as well so x is often called the predictor or the explanatory variable and y is also called the response variable in this case. Okay, so just a whole bunch of synonyms. Now let's run a regression. First, let's create a scatter plot of distance versus speed, y versus x. So we go to insert, we go over here to scatter, and we'll pick the first one. It starts us with a nice blank. Spread, uh, chart area. Let's click select data, add x values. This is where you'll put the speed numbers. And for our y values, this is where we'll put distance. And that's all we need to feed Excel. And so we would want to title this, of course. Let's go. Uh, Let's just add a quick chart title, scatter plot of distance versus speed. So we want to see if distance is a good predictor of speed. And we see from these points, the general flow of these points is definitely positive, right? And it's pretty tightly packed, right? So it's a strong positive relationship. You could argue that the shape of this relationship is a little curved this way, or maybe even this way. Okay, actually, I think it would be more appropriate to go a little curved this way. But you could also see, perhaps, it's loosely linearly related. Okay, we're going to run both these. I'm going to do an A video right here where I'm just going to do the linear simple linear regression on this data and then I'll do another video where I do a polynomial uh, specifically a quadratic regression a second order polynomial regression okay so let's quickly do the regression so the way you could quickly do this is you click on the plot go over to layout on the chart tools section up here and click on trend line then go down to more trend lines and select linear 
select display equation and let's get r square as well which is the coefficient of determination okay and there we go we have our regression line okay and you can move that around so that it's more visible okay we could also do get this same regression line and more regression output by going over to data data analysis scrolling down to regression inputting our y variable with the label inputting our x variable with its label remember we're using speed to predict the distance stopping distance click label because I included these guys when I highlighted them here Okay, there's a bunch of more options. We'll leave that to another video. I'm going to select the output range to be on this same spreadsheet. Let's click OK. Let's move the chart aside. And let's take a look at what we got. The things we're interested, there's a lot of output here, but the things we're more, most interested in are the coefficients. And we want to make sure that these guys match with these guys. And you see that they do. Here's the 3.9. And here's the negative 17. That's the slope. Here's negative 17.579. Perfect. Okay. So this matches with this. And also, before I forgot to mention, we also got a nice overlay of the regression line on top of our scatter plot. Now, let's check the R square of this model 0.65. 0.65 that says that 65% of the variability in distance is explained by the regression line or by the regression of distance on speed okay so that's not bad that's not great but it's definitely not bad okay it's it's saying the model is decent okay I have a hunch that this model would be improved if we ran a polynomial regression because it looks like these points have a slight curved pattern in them I don't know that's the gut feeling that I'm getting so I'm gonna run this uh, polynomial regression in a, in video in part B of this series of videos so make sure to check the continuation of this out so till next time have a great day, subscribe, and watch part B.